Apple barged into Meta's virtual reality party on Monday, unveiling an augmented reality headset called the Vision Pro. The headset is considered Apple's riskiest and biggest bet yet since the introduction of the iPhone. The price of Apple's first mixed reality headset will be uh, with three-dimensional camera, in fact, is priced at uh, $3,499, which uh, roughly translates to about 3 lakh rupees uh, in India. That's three times the cost of the priciest headset in Meta's line of mixed and virtual reality devices that currently dominate the AR VR market. The new headset will be available early next year in the United States with more countries coming in later that year. Introducing Apple Vision Pro. Apple unveiled its hotly anticipated augmented reality headset on Monday. It's riskiest and biggest bet since the iPhone debuted more than a decade ago. The Vision Pro poses a direct challenge to Meta's line of mixed and virtual reality devices. And with a price tag that will start at $3,499, the Vision Pro will cost more than three times Meta's priciest headset when it launches next year. Apple CEO Tim Cook. It's the first Apple product you look through and not at. Vision Pro feels familiar, yet it's entirely new. You can see, hear, and interact with digital content just like it's in your physical space. Apple said that users of the Vision Pro will be able to select content inside the goggles with their eyes, tap their fingers together to click, and gently flick to scroll, while also using a three-dimensional camera and microphone system to capture videos and pictures that can be viewed in 3D later. And its most striking difference from Meta's headsets, the device also has an exterior display that shows the user's eyes to people in the outside world. So in the same way that Mac introduced us to personal computing and iPhone introduced us to mobile computing, Apple Vision Pro will introduce us to spatial computing. The exterior screen goes dark when a user is fully immersed in a virtual world. When a person approaches a user who is in a full virtual mode, the headset will show both the user and the outside person to each other. For work uses, Apple showed how the headset can be used with a trackpad and keyboard to work like a traditional computer with multiple displays. The Vision Pro has two hours of use with an external battery, similar to Meta's top-of-the-line Quest Pro mixed reality device. Besides the headset, Apple also displayed a raft of new products and features, including a 15-inch MacBook Air, a powerful chip called M2 Ultra, and improvements to its iOS software and autocorrect feature. Shares of the iPhone maker rose 2% to hit a record high ahead of the launch, but shares ended slightly lower after the announcement. This is a day that's been years in the making, one that I've really been looking forward to. I believe that augmented reality is a profound technology. Blending digital content with the real world can unlock experiences like nothing we've ever seen. So today, I'm excited to announce an entirely new AR platform with a revolutionary new product. And here it is. <music> Introducing Apple Vision Pro. Vision Pro is a new kind of computer that augments reality by seamlessly blending the real world with the digital world. It's the first Apple product you look through and not at. Vision Pro feels familiar, yet it's entirely new. You can see, hear, and interact with digital content just like it's in your physical space. And you control Vision Pro using the most natural and intuitive tools, your eyes, hands, and voice. With Vision Pro, you're no longer limited by a display. Your surroundings become an infinite canvas. Use your apps anywhere and make them any size you want. Capture photos and videos and relive your most important memories in an entirely new way. Watch your movies, shows, and sports, and immerse yourself in games on a giant screen surrounded by spatial audio. And connect with people as if you're sharing the same space. I think expectations were um, 
met and exceeded. Uh, you know, if you just listen to the crowd reaction, uh, it, there was a lot of excitement. Um, the price point is still a price point that is hard to justify at a mass market, but from an early adopter perspective, it's certainly a price point that when you look at the return on the investment that you have from the device, is definitely possible. Apple has more trust than Meta does. Um, I think from a consumer perspective, certainly Apple has more trust. I also think that Apple has something that Meta doesn't have. You know, how engaged this developer community is and, and how they have learned to work with Apple to uh, go from device to device and bring their apps uh, and being supported doing that, I, I think is, is uh, another key differentiator. The fully immersive view is something I think a lot of people will find really compelling. Um, because early versions, for example, of the HoloLens and Magic Lens and some of these other earlier headsets, while they looked great in demo form, when you actually tried them, they were limited. And that really was frustrating. It looks like Apple has solved that problem finally with Vision Pro. So I think that'll be a step in the right direction because it'll fully engulf you. And I think that will be pretty cool.